In today's video, let's take a closer look at the modern day fish farming in China. Good day to everyone, this is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to our channel. Now, if you want to always be updated with our new videos, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. China's fish farm have exploded in scale since the industry was commercialized 25 years ago. Some are so large that they have become literal floating cities. According to the expert, China has a very long history of fish farming around the coast and river deltas, but it really took off as an industry in the 1990s. So today, in this video, you will see six examples of how China conducts fish farming in a modern way. And so, without further delay, let us take you to our number one. Number one is World's First Offshore Fish Farm Built by China China has finished building the world's first deep-sea fish farm off the coast of Qingdao City, East China's Shandong province incorporating the most advanced and sustainable technology in fish breeding. The megastructure will soon be delivered to Norway as the Scandinavian country braves new waters in offshore fish farming. It is a full-scale pilot facility for testing, learning, research, and development. It will be equipped for R&D activities with particular focus on biological conditions and fish welfare. Aiming to reduce environmental footprints, improve fish welfare, and answer acreage challenges, the Norwegian Fish Farm Company commissioning the project. Number 2 is Feeding 14 Billion China's Floating Fish Farms Lines of floating nets interconnected by wooden planks that serve as walkways act as enclosures to raise seafood like shrimp, oysters, and fish are all familiar in Nengdi in southeast China's Fujian province, where China's cultured seafood are produced. Thousands of fish farmers who resided along this coastal area for decades have transferred this little fishing village into the epicenter of the yellow croaker industry, producing 75% of the nation's total output. Number 3 is Pufferfish Farming Brings Prosperity to Coastal Town mm -hmm. 
annual output of puffer fish breeding in Futan town on coast of East China's Fujian province is worth nearly about 43.4 million US dollars. Take a look at how the small town benefits from the poisonous puffer fish. Number 4 is Hainan's Tilapia Industry Eyes Domestic Market. China's southernmost province of Hainan is known for its freshwater aquaculture or fish farming. Tilapia is the province's largest aquaculture export item. More than 95% of tilapia production in the province is exported, mostly to the United States and Europe. This is perhaps why, despite the industry having been around for almost 20 years, many local Chinese may not have had a taste of this freshwater fish. Number 5 is Breeding Crayfish Under Solar Panels in East China's Jiangsu Above the water, power is generated. Under the water, crayfish are bred. Green growth model brings wealth to farmers in Jianghu, East China's Jiangsu province. You better take a look at this. Number 6 is China's first deep sea fish farm opens for salmon breeding. China's first deep sea fish farming facility, Xinlan 1, was opened for salmon breeding in the Yellow Sea. The octagonal apparatus is China's first self-developed and world's biggest fully submerged net cage. It can cultivate 300,000 salmon during a growth circle, 
and is expected to meet the annual output of 1,500 tons. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So, if you have something to say about this video, don't forget to leave your comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. And this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks, Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. video.